Hi, this is Kevin from the Air Zoo, and today we're going to be talking about the Princess Mary Christmas tin of 1914. This unique item is related to the Christmas truce of 1914 between British and German troops on the Western Front. Princess Mary was 17 years old at the time, and she's a daughter of King George V and Queen Mary, and she desires to do something to show gratitude to the British soldiers and sailors who have been fighting now for about five months. So a committee is formed, uh, wealthy individuals, prominent people like the Prime Minister Asquith, the First Lord of the Admiralty, uh, Winston Churchill, and others. And the first thing they do is send out an appeal uh, with her name on it to raise money. And they raise about 162,000 pounds, that's English pounds which in today's value is over 19 million pounds or approximately 26 million dollars. It's an incredible sum of money they raised. The goal is to produce about 430,000 tins which will be sent overseas to troops serving on the Western Front as well as sailors at sea and the troops that are stationed at home, convalescing soldiers, nurses on the Western Front, POWs, and including widows and the spouses of those who lost their husbands during the war. Now this will include officers and enlisted, and about 355,000 of these tins get distributed to the Western Front around the time of Christmas. Now this would cause massive problems in the supply chain for a few weeks, and in fact some people were really upset about this. And I have a quote here. This is from Major G.D. Jeffries of the 2nd Grenadier Guards who writes in his diary on December 18, 1914, Everything seems to be hung up now for all the Christmas parcels, which are becoming a positive nuisance. I am told that the rations of the Army are to be held up for 24 hours to enable Princess Mary's presence to come up, and I have had reams of orders as to their distribution. It was the longest order I have received since I have been out, and it seems rather ridiculous to make such a tremendous business of it when, after all, our business is to beat the Germans. Our enemy thinks of war and nothing else, whilst we must mix it up with plum puddings." Well, the Major Jeffries maybe didn't like the situation, but the Germans were doing a very similar thing in sending gifts, parcels, food, clothing, and the Kaiser was sending cigars and pipes to the troops at the front. The Germans actually sent small Christmas trees to the front and to the high seas fleet. So everybody's sending lots of material to the Western Front. Now these were produced into 1915 because they had a lot of trouble sourcing the brass for these tins. Of course, brass is used in ammunition, so they need a number of different sources, and that will mean that there are some differences in the way the tins will look due to the differences in the brass. The ones that were sent out in 1915, they miss Christmas, they'll have a different card in them dated 1915, but the tins themselves are all dated 1914. So let's take a closer look at the tins themselves. Now as far as the tin itself, in the center is a profile of Princess Mary, surrounded by her monogram M and these laurel leaves. On the top is Imperium Britannicum, which is Latin for British Empire, Christmas 1914 stamped on the bottom, and along the sides and corners are the different allied nations that Britain was fighting the war with. This is Japan, Russia, Montenegro, Serbia, France, and Belgium. At the top you had two different swords, and on the bottom you have the bows of two battleships plowing through the heavy seas. Now the tins were produced by a number of different manufacturers, so you will see differences or variations in these tins. Now as far as the contents were concerned, they did vary depending on who was going to get them. The one they probably sent the most out was the contents for officers and men, or enlisted, smokers. And that consisted of a package of 20 cigarettes, obviously stamped with the date and where the, it was coming from, a packet of pipe tobacco, a pipe, and a lighter, 
which they ran out of very quickly, and they had to start substituting things. Mainly, they substituted a bullet pencil. And then they had a little Christmas card. And the Christmas card has the Princess Mary monogram on it. And then inside, the card again with the monogram, 1914, and then a little Christmas greeting inside. If the tins were sent out in 1915, and some of these went into well in 1915, the card would be dated 1915. The tin would remain 1914. And then it had a small card from the king and queen with pictures of the king and the queen, and then a picture, of course, of Princess Mary. Now that was for smokers. Now, if you were a non-smoker, of course, no cigarettes or tobacco. Instead, you got a package of what they called acid tablets, which is some kind of hard candy. Now, you and I have scratched our heads over this, and if somebody knows more about what they meant by acid tablets in particular, we'd love to know, but it was some kind of candy for them. Uh, they also got a khaki writing case with a pencil and paper and envelopes plus the cards and pictures. Now there were Indian troops on the Western Front, a number of different units, and the contents for Indian troops varied depending on what specific unit they went to, but in the main they included a box of sugar candy, a small tin or box of spices so that the Indian troops could flavor the food more to their liking. Understand they're a long way from home and the food is nowhere near what they had at home. And some also got a package of cigarettes, and they also got the Christmas card um, with uh, pictures as well. Now, nurses who were serving on the Western Front, these were all female, and of course the ideas of female smoking back then were a little bit different than they were today, so they didn't get cigarettes or any type of tobacco. Instead, they got a box of chocolates and the cards from Princess Mary. And now these were also sent to POWs, and the POWs got a tin very similar to what the smokers got. Um, I'm thinking that they didn't get a bullet pencil. Um, and then they also made efforts to send tins and a Christmas card to widows and to parents of those who were killed in action. Now there were four manufacturers of these cigarettes and tobacco, and these were prominent uh, producers of these items uh, before and during the war. And it's one estimate is they produced over 13 million cigarettes, and the cigarettes were all monogrammed with the Princess Mary monogram. Now that's uh, about 652,000 cigarette packages, and it seems an excessive amount, but perhaps they just produced extra to give away to other folks. But they also procured 44,480 pounds of pipe tobacco and about 483,000 pipes they got from eight different manufacturers. For the smokers early on that got a lighter, the lighters were made by Asprey of London who had a contract to get 500,000 lighters produced and they just couldn't, couldn't produce them that fast. So, uh, they very quickly run out of those lighters, but they were monogrammed. If you got one of the lighters, they were actually monogrammed. So instead what they did for those who couldn't get the lighter is they started to put in this small bullet pencil. Now the bullet pencil is a 303 casing, again came from a variety of suppliers, and it does have her monogram on it, and it is actually a pencil. If you pull out the tip, it's got the pencil hidden inside, and there I am, ready to write a letter home or scrawl something in my diary. So the bullet pencil was the thing that they distributed much more widely than the lighters. And then for those people who are non-smokers, the khaki writing case came with a pencil, just a regular pencil, writing paper, and envelopes to put your your letters in to send home, and of course all the envelopes had the Princess Mary monogram on them. Stamped on the outside of the case was the words Christmas Fund 1914. 
So there you have a good idea of the different contents they used in the Christmas tins. So there you have it, the Princess Mary Christmas tins of 1914, a very poignant reminder of the Christmas truce of 1914. You and I have enjoyed bringing this video to you. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, give us a follow online and keep checking back for many new videos for you to enjoy.